Welcome back, everybody. My name is Keith. I'm Nick. And I'm Curtis. And this is Redemption Reacts. So today we have a tease, Mist Color Coded. Right. So um, like, comment, subscribe. Definitely uh, follow us on our journey. Turn on your notification bell so you can get a new uh, videos every time they drop. You don't want to miss new reactions. Oh, my God. Don't miss the subscribe mm -mm. button. Missed me with this shit. So <laughs> we're the right answer. <laughs> that was precious. Inception. Join the Patreons. Wonderland on there. This is, this is a turbulent. No fever. <laughs> What's the real? Oh, man. This is not Wonderland. <laughs> uh, so yes, join the Patreon. We also have uh, dance uh, dance practices, live performances. <laughs> Jungle. <laughs> sound, uh, it does. Wow. Woo, young. Fucking guy, right there. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to be making sure that poor and it touches a drunk amount. He also gave it to both of the patch of that's back on the jetty. To get it, it could be a lot of checks on the Nacho, man. That's plenty of socks again. I'm just like this whole place. Start calling a tease, uh, a consistent group. <laughs> That's not a real thing. It was about to be. They don't really. <laughs> it's like it's about to be. Mobile. They don't really ever have like no misses and shit like that. Not no. to say like other groups like have misses and shit, but it's just like you kind of. I think eventually we'll get to that when it comes down to sample sizing. Like so. And it's not necessarily hit we, or miss. We might have done like 40 tracks low key from them, bro. I guess that's true. I guess that's true. If I pull my junk, I have six different albums from them at this point, uh, like, you know, collectively with different songs from said albums. We really just haven't gotten to a lot of these B sides, B -sides yeah. um, which we're about to start exploring and then, uh, like, you know, doing guides. But 
And I mean, it's like I said, I, I'm gonna be transparent. I, I don't want to talk like the shit on other groups when I'm bigging them up because obviously we always say if you're an idol group, most likely it's the NBA. I think what Kurt always says, we know what you did to get here already, so we know like what the talent is. Um, the thing with them is, is just that like the concepts that they have, um, the arrangements that I think they have, mm-hmm. um, their vocal line probably the isn't ta- isn't talked about enough probably from us. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and obviously I know it's because you know it's when you have like that set like couple groups already, and that you kind of big up that vocal line, it's hard to kind of to to, to play in every wheelhouse and shit. I'm trying to be nice about my wording because I don't want to sound like I'm like shitting on anybody. Um, Bend over, right. but the um, <laughs> say no, but the, the vocal line, like the vocal line, is nasty in uh, like at so They literally can can almost like do anything. Um, sometimes you don't know who's hitting those falsettos and stuff. They literally like take turns doing certain things. Mm-hmm. Um, on certain tracks, certain noises that I thought were like production are actually people's just voices. Mm-hmm. That's incredible. Um, and you've heard them live do it, so it's just like oh, okay, like y'all really do anything the rap line um like really goes off almost like every time i think mingi is the one that kind of uh i think it's his name um is the mm-hmm. one that kind of always yeah. like stands out a little bit but that happens with me in particular sometimes when you hear like those deeper voices and mm-hmm. uh like rap and then like those flows and cadence and stuff you'll, you'll be able to go with the that all that being said this song feels very much like a 90s r&b kind of like those sensual type songs uh, the, like almost love you now type songs with a little bit more high tempo. Um, I don't know. I feel like they were holding somebody singing this in the booth. <laughs> so please, <laughs> nighttime music. Um, oh, definitely. I like this a lot. I wonder is it a um, is it a live performance for this as well? Probably not. We can check. Know, anytime you start loving songs like these, the live performances, people be like, you no missed no life for you. It's no live, no soup. <laughs> Um, but yeah, man, I I really um I do gotta get better with uh with everybody's names. That's kind of like my weak tell with uh like it is is that um I really need to start differentiating different members, uh, especially when it comes like the voices and some of the faces and stuff. Start putting more names to uh, like these faces and stuff because I don't want to get stuck in that wave where I only know like two people, so I big up them the entire video as opposed to the whole group. Um. <laughs> <laughs> it was like no, nah, but um no, nah, but that's real shit though. I I be wanting to show like other members uh like love, especially when like they are doing what they do like on videos and stuff. So that's my spot. I like the slide. This is getting downloaded too, by the way. Okay. Uh <laughs> no, nah, I like the song. I thought it was a great song. Um vocals were amazing. Uh, who was it that's on the second chorus? You said that was your guy. Uh, Wang Ho? Yeah, he had the blue. The blue mm-hmm. letters. Him. Yeah. Wang Ho? Wang Ho? Yeah, he, he killed that joint. Um, he just took it. He took an already, like, 10 chorus and then bumped it up to, like, 15. Um, it was just, uh, you heard the vulnerability in his voice. You heard the reaching out for whoever he's trying to, like, make it right with. Um, and he really sounds like he doesn't want to let the go, let them go or let this moment pass. Um, no, this is definitely a good song, great song. His B-side is definitely a fire joint. I had something else I wanted to say, but I, I can't remember it at the moment. I'm so the Wonderland joint. Mm. Well, I mean, I didn't, Wonderland was a one-off. I kind of listened to that only because we were like, you know what I mean? But I haven't really listened to anything else. Um, once I found Wonderland, I kind of just let the, you know, let the nature take its course as far as what we react to after that. Um, no, but um, all in all, I, I definitely, I'm downloading this. I didn't download it now because, you know, I don't want to be called on my phone. <laughs> so, I'll wait. <laughs> hey, uh, <laughs> yeah, nah, uh, not to run on a tangent, but that's, uh, I know I'll probably sound like a broken record. That's like the hardest thing with the reactions is that um, I I try to only listen to things with y'all. So as soon as like we get into these songs, once it's just like, oh my God, this is, because how many uh, songs on this album? Being, this is an 11 song track. So we talking about transparency. So 
you notice I didn't, I told you before, I didn't hear any of the RM album before you guys. I haven't still listened to anything that we haven't done on the channel. Not even on my own time. I just haven't gone to it. Yeah, but it, it's, it sucks um, just because you, obviously, uh, like, people who are really into the fandoms and stuff like that and who watch our channels, it's not like, well, some people may do it, but it's not like people are seamlessly just like kind of watching stuff when we watch it. No. I'm pretty sure whoever is here got to watch all the kingdoms, got to watch all the interviews, got to listen to all the music and do everything else. I have a big appreciation for ATs, but obviously, you know, my palate can grow with them just because there's so much content that I haven't been exposed to with them yet. And it's crazy because, like, you know, we try to do feed as many fandoms as possible and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And um, ATs is definitely a group that I want to learn more about. Um, I just wish we had more time in the day to kind of dive more into that pilot. But I, I am going to start trying to do my best to make sure every month we're at least getting, like, anywhere from three to, like, six videos for every single fandom. I know it's asking for a lot, but, you know, we can make it happen. No, I mean, I feel like we can... It, it, it is going to be a lot, but I feel like we can make it happen, especially with like some of the other more time consuming stuff like soups and mm -hmm. you know and other stuff like that. Um, but yeah, yeah, right. I'm sure we can make it happen. Uh, um, shit, I lost what I was going to say. Yeah, but no, <laughs> no, but because no, uh, I think at some point, uh, the, uh, oh, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I was about to say at some point we um, obviously when, we, when like schedules are better and stuff like that, be able to just bang off some of the bigger projects maybe on like one certain day or something like that. Um, and then, you know, a regular time that we do stuff, be able to focus more kind of like on MVs and other stuff. Um, so, yeah. Um, now you were talking about people listening to the first time. I, like, I don't, I think like said maybe 70% of the people that watch these videos have already heard the song, mm -hmm. have already like put tens of thousands of views on under the video of their choice. Um, they just here basically for our reaction, and if um, probably to push us in the right direction with other tracks, right? I, and I know, for instance, I was sat in a room with my own flesh and blood, watched them play the song, and when it came down for us to talk, switched the video. Like that is not how I raised you, but that's <laughs> <laughs> that's a majority of what some of you know the people do. Not everyone. Clearly, I've done that to reactors too, though. Certain yeah. people, yeah, no, no, yeah, absolutely. Certain people, I value their feedback here for your reaction, and some people, I'm just here for your reaction. If mm -hmm. that makes sense, so I definitely get it. Ho hopefully, people are here for both. Yeah. And if not, uh, as long as you got whatever you needed out of the video, then well, I mean, she's biased. She doesn't listen to me anyway when I'm not listening to music. So what does she really care for <laughs> when I'm listening to music? Uh, she just wants to see who who fan fan girls or fan guys over the song that she fan girls or fan guys about. Um, Sometimes that's why I click on them too, just nah, to see if people gushed over the same parts I do, or the same moments, right? Like, mm -hmm. yo, did you feel that moment? Like I felt that moment, and you'd be surprised. That's how I kind of started watching uh, some reactions, especially K-pop reactions. Mm -hmm. um, I think we talked about other reactions like Lost and Vague. Um, I just liked the song and just wanted to hear other people that look like me listen to those same songs and mm -hmm. what they thought. Because let's be honest, there weren't a whole lot of black reactors at the time. Um, not for music and not for other genres. Uh, it has now became a thing, and which is great. I, I love it. Um, we got we kind of got off track, didn't we? Yeah, no, that's cool. You just ran on like a little tangent. Tang Let me bring it back. Um, no, just to say that um, you know, what I mean, so if you have any suggestions for B sides, please send them our way. We would love to hear them. Um, even if you don't necessarily think we would you know, vibe with it and we should just do it because it's a B side and maybe you enjoy it. Fuck it. Send it. And then we're going to say, you know, because we don't know what it sound like before we listen to it. So, um, I just set us up with some bullshit. Didn't I? No, I probably. Know, you, you cool. <laughs> they, they normally do a good job of that though. Cause I'm a lot of the good stuff. Yeah. A lot of the most fire shit this year has been literally based That's off true. of like, yo, you like this? Try this. <laughs> hey, hey, but you know what? You know what's funny too, and I meant to say it during um, music uh, to a large extent in general. Mm -hmm. Dor during during our way. top uh, bullfighter for me was a crazy joint, mm -hmm. and I didn't even get a chance to mention. But that was a suggestion. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think even EXID was suggestions. Lady was um, lady was a suggestion off of something. Taint the shiny one on one was a suggestion off of lady. Mm -hmm. So you know people. 
they they be knowing what they doing. Even certain stuff when we tapped into the Jackson Wang stuff, uh, not to like just throw other artists in here, but just having a transparent conversation. Um, off of that, when we kind of did like three in a row from him, was off of other people mm -hmm. just on somebody, yo, this is good, this is good, and this is good. Um, I think after we did hit it to the beat, I'm not sure if they gave us cyberpunk or okay. what else they gave us directly after we uh, like did that track from them, but that's it's kind of how things happen. Word of mouth, <laughs> no, no doubt, best form of advertising. Yeah, especially when people like certain things. Like if you are like obviously like heavy on ballads or something like that, and you see someone respond very well to it, and that group has like ten more, mm -hmm. it's kind of just like, oh, if you like this, do 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 do. You know, they got some gems in their back pocket. Mm -hmm. But the way um the way all this at stuff is set up is that um they got so much more content we haven't done yet, and that's mm -hmm. just off of songs. That ain't no interviews or anything else and stuff. And obviously, Kingdom is going to be a very very big thing. And the reason why y'all not getting it yet is just because things of that nature, I feel like, need to be taken care of, like, very seriously. Like, you know what I mean? I want to be pre prepared and comfortable to be able to kind of, like, do those things. Right. So they're going to be coming soon. Hey. No, I, I thought this was amazing. Definitely their vocal line, um, you know, in that pre-chorus and that chorus in particular, the way they were hitting those incredible notes and just harmonizing and, and, and their voices just gelled so well together. Um, and it was, I, I didn't want to necessarily like, you know, leave anyone out in kind of, you know, in addressing that, but also for my part as well as, um, kind of highlighting some of the members who perhaps I'm not as in tune with, uh, you know, either haven't known them for long enough to kind of really mm -hmm. speak on those things, but, um, definitely in the, the hook, Wu Young, Sung Hwa, uh, Jung Ho, and Yun Ho, um, and then pre-chorus was... Yo Sang, Sung Wa, and Yun Ho, I want to say. Okay. Um, but basically just those are the those voices uh, in particular in the way they were each kind of, like it felt like they were hitting the same kind of register of a note, if, if, if that even uh, is musically correct to say. Um, but they kept like passing the baton to each other so effortlessly. Um, and it, it just, it really, it really resonated for me. And, and honestly, I would say carried a lot of the heart of the song um, throughout, which is something that I feel like any good hook or pre-course is kind of meant to do. Uh, but the, th this was a really strong download for me, for sure. Um, I would say it's right up there with um, kind of Star Eleven Seventeen. Oh, okay. Um, as far as like some of the some of the um, more ballad type time, perhaps some of the um, B sides that we've gotten to explore. Um, but I did love. Um, Minji's verse, especially when he kind of talks about the whole idea of, um, you know, what, like basically questioning why am I so afraid to kind of take that next step uh, throughout this mist, um, even if there was like this, like this dim light, seemingly. Um, and honestly, just what that kind of echoes for me, um, well, I'll get to that in a sec, but, um, and Hung Jun's verse, because they, they also both felt like they had full 16s kind of, mm -hmm. which I really appreciated as far as like the, the verse structure of everything. Um, and another reason for why that kind of stands out to me is just to say the hook and, and the pre-chorus are so beautiful and the harmonies are so beautiful that if you kind of break into a rap, um, sometimes it could feel juxtaposed or it can feel a little too um, jarring. Um, but for them to have a full 16 and kind of segue so effortlessly, um, and it only elevated it for me because you're feeling like a lot of what um, the passion and, and the, the belting out of those notes is kind of expressing is a lot of the the regret and kind of perhaps anger that's in a little bit of the verse structure. So it kind of gels as opposed to juxtaposes, if that makes sense. Um, but in, in Hung Jun's uh, verse, basically I like that he had said, um, basically even if I see that dim light, um, like he's trying to get rid of his anxiety and saying even if I see that dim light it, or, or that light in the darkness, it quickly dims. But the reason I thought that that was poetic in a sense is because if you think about the, the whole pirate concept, um, they had tied it into Star 1117, which is kind of why I'm mentioning that track, was that the Atinis were essentially the stars that guide them, mm -hmm. um, you know, kind of um, along that journey. So basically, if you're talking about mist and traveling and being lost, um, I felt that really aided what could potentially be um, in that pirate concept in the sense that if, like, you're in the mist, you could hit a rock and crash and, like, kind of, like, all the, like, where the stakes are a lot more... Um, dire and as far as like compasses and kind of losing your track because they say um, 
my compass is your whisper at the end. Um, and that's kind of why I was tying that into it. But it basically, because they had seemed like the Atanis were the light that was their compass. That was kind of, because, you know, pirates would travel the stars before they knew navigation and everything. Um, so I just think, nonetheless, that if this is indeed a message to Atanis, it was um, additionally beautiful. Um, but the song in and of itself kind of holds those, those sentiments to me as well, even aside from that. But I wouldn't doubt if there's a much kind of deeper, more sentimental story behind this. But... When I'm looking at everything, you know, the way the vocals gelled and, and meshed together and harmonized um, and how catchy the song is in general and then the kind of passion and the almost existentialism that's kind of seemingly explored a little bit in Minji's verse and Young Jun's verse, um, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, of course. Um, this was definitely a really, really great song for me and a strong download easily. Yeah, I'm, I'm all good. Um, these... These are uh, like those type of tracks where you honestly just want to digest it and then jump into like the next track. Uh, with that being said, I'm ready to jump into the next one because um, we got uh, not too late um, for me to jump into right after this. You good? You yeah. Nice no, nah, I'm just, just I would love to just know more information about the track and kind of, you know, around the time period it came out and everything. And, and uh, just as a side note to the, the line distribution in here, I really I really liked as well. No, nah. uh, jump in the comments. Uh, definitely give us some more B sides. Uh, like I said, a guy to be coming soon. Uh, like four of these guys, they deserve it. Um, other than that, we love you guys. We're gonna holler at y'all. Peace. Take care.